Okay, hello guys. Uh, we have Abhishek with us, and if you don't know about Abhishek, guys, he's also a data scientist. Uh, he's he's having an expertise in NLP, that is natural language processing, and he's also a Kaggler. He is basically uh, the Kaggle Grandmaster. So we'll just try to get more information about him, and we'll have a quite a discussion with respect to Kaggle in this particular session. So welcome, Abhishek. Uh, uh, probably most of our viewers know you. You're pretty much famous. You are most favorite among, you know, Kaggling people know you with respect to that. Anything that you want to introduce apart from this, you can actually introduce yourself with respect to that. Sure, Krish. And uh, first of all, thank you very much for inviting me, for having me here. And I'm, I must say that I'm also a fan of yours. So thank you very much for all the cool videos that you're making. So I follow them from time to time. And I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a data scientist. So I'm currently based in Norway. I I I I was born and brought up in India, and uh, since last ten years, I've been living in Europe. Um, so the plan is to come back to India at some point. Um, yeah, um, and when I'm not working, so that, uh, that's the time when I'm when I'm doing all all different kinds of stuff, like writing a book and being on Kaggle, competing with other. Um, uh, people on Kaggle, so in different competitions. And uh, that's where most of uh, the things that I've learned, I've learned from. So, okay, you yeah, won't believe, you. Uh, you won't believe I have a lot of tele Telegram channel. I just announced yesterday that I'm going to have some session with Abhishek. And then they were like, so I'll just make it quickly, you know, just upload the video. You want to see, we want to see, we want to see. So you have a great fan following here in India also. Uh, now, considering that uh, Abhishek, how important is Kaggle? for becoming a data scientist, will it help in their journey or in the kind of work that they do in the company? Uh, well, well that, that's a very uh, interesting and very difficult question, you know, and uh, it can get controversial. <laughs> um, so it, it totally depends. So if, if, you, if you're asking me, then I would say, yeah, it, it's helpful. But if you're asking someone who's already a data scientist and has learned quite a lot in the industry, then they may, might not find it useful. Uh, why it's useful for me is because uh, whatever I have learned, I've learned basically from competing in different competitions. So if you're a fresher and you don't have any industry exposure and you want to uh, learn, you want to build a portfolio because these times are very difficult. You know, Everyone wants to be a data scientist, but nobody knows where to start from. And you can do all kinds of certifications, all kinds of courses, but if you don't have this kind of practical touch, then you're lacking, you're lacking something. And uh, I think in the interviews that matters a lot. Uh, so if you're, if you're like, um, what I've, what I've seen in India, it's like, uh, you have to be from uh, the top colleges, right? And if you're not from there and you have to prove that you are uh, still as good as them, um, you have to have a good portfolio. And I think Kaggle competitions or competitions in general, like machine learning competitions on different platform can help you build that portfolio. So you have actually told my story itself. I'm also not from a, you know, tier one college itself. I'm from a tier three college. I came from as a software engineer background. I was a, a .NET developer actually. And Kaggle has played a wonderful role in my life, you know, just to understand the basics, understand the good practices that we can use. Now, I have learned a lot from Kaggle as, as it is. 